time for the Cape Quickcast checking stories, making news as you head out the door. It is the opening mm -hmm. day of Wichita's River Fest, but more rain overnight will only add to the problems of high water and stormwater runoff. That's right. They're creating elevated levels of E. coli in the Arkansas River. Cake's Lily Wu is live downtown explaining what's being done to help keep your family safe. Well, the city of Wichita has been testing this river water right here for E. coli, and those levels are elevated. Now, they are asking you that if you do come in contact with that water, to wash your hands and to not ingest that water. Now, Riverfest officials say that none of their activities were meant for people to swim in the water, and the city of Wichita will be putting flags along the Lewis Street and the Douglas Street bridges that designate what is allowed on the river. The codes for those um, flags are orange. Blue and green, and Riverfest officials hope that it is green so that there can be canoeing and kayaking on this river. But you will have to keep posted on those flags. Reporting live in downtown Wichita, Lily Wu, Cake News. Also making news this Friday, a search is on in Montgomery County for a man who shot an Oklahoma police officer in the head. Two other suspects are arrested. Oklahoma troopers say shots from an SUV during a pursuit hit an officer with the Ulaga police. Wichita police say a man stepped off a curb and walked into the path of a car near 21st and Grove. The walker is seriously hurt. Officers didn't think the driver will be charged because the walker did not use a crosswalk. Authorities say former U.S. House Speaker Dennis Hastert paid more than $3 million in hush money to someone in his Illinois hometown. Hastert is charged with lying to the FBI about a long series of bank withdrawals. The most powerful man in soccer faces a re-election vote only days after several top officials were arrested. The U.S. Soccer Federation plans to reject Sepp Blatter and vote for a Jordanian prince. Ten people are recovering after a gas leak at a chemical plant in Borger, Texas. Police say the leak was contained quickly, so residents were not at risk for long. 